Hi Pisces, welcome to your horoscope for February 2020. When I first tuned into your energy, it was like I sort of feel lost. You guys do have Neptune in your star sign as well as Venus. Um, so Neptune will be affecting um, Piscearians that are more towards the beginning and middle of that star sign. And that what it does is it does make you feel a bit lost, like you're in a fog. It also can dissolve something in your life. So you may have found for those of more the beginning or later in the years, if I went back into your chart, that something ended. So people who are in the middle of now, you might be finding that something has ended in your life, whether it be a relationship, a work, um, something. You know, maybe you've moved house or something that dissolves. But I just feel very foggy when I tune into the energy of um, your energy. With the Venus, you might find that it's more of a loving time for you, um, as well as money, you know, finances may improve, but let's just see what the cards say as well. Yeah, I will say with that Venus, it, it probably is, let's have a look at the relationship, but I feel like, you know, it's going to be more positive for you, um, for romance. It's like you're taking charge. It's you're going forward with romance. Um, I do feel like there's some of you, you know, you've found your partner, your soulmate as well in February. There's those big opportunities and that part is going to blossom um, with you. For those of you who are single, again, I do feel like there's opportunities to meet someone new. For um, others who are not looking, who are single, it's about um, finding the connection with anyone. So this could be like maybe a friend or uh, work colleagues, just finding that, that connection and that strength that you're building a partnership with them for February. This month is also, I guess, trying to be in your power. I know sometimes it is hard for um, for Pisarians because you are quite of a softer star sign, uh, depending on what your moon and what your ascending is can make you a bit stronger. Um, but for a lot of you, you know, you are a very sensitive star sign. You do pick up a lot of things as well. And I also get that there's going to be um, we want loyalty around you this month of February, and it's also wishing like you want you want wishes you want you know you want your wishing your you know life to get better. Where am I going as well? When I look um, for you for work and for money, and there's a chance of planting new seeds. So it is, it is a chance of new growth to happen for you guys in February in terms of um, earning money and career. That I feel like. In terms of when you're saving, it's I kind of feel like it's been hard work for you, and I do feel like in February it might still be a little bit hard. So I just feel like it's it's kind of hard and it's a little bit draining there for you. In terms of career, I do feel like you're coming into something new for some of you. It's a new beginning, new challenges, new things you need to face. It's like we're all looking up for guidance. So I, said, I just feel a lot of fogginess there with you guys. Um, which could be the effects of the Neptune for some of you as well. When we look at um, family, I feel like if some of you are wanting to be closeness with your sisters and brothers, so there is maybe wanting to be more close to them. So I feel like that's a positive aspect for you in February. Um, in terms of the wider family, um, I get that, yeah, it's just blossoming there, but you just want loyalty. And as well, there's a, there's a change happening for you in February to do with family as well. When we're looking at your friends, so for Pisces this month, I just feel like you're wanting support of friends and you're wanting people who are going to stand by you and just be there for you. So I do feel like that's for you in the month of February in terms um, of any studying or, or I feel like for some of you, you might need to study. Study is a big thing for you this year and I think February is going to be a time where you're going to have to think about doing that. Um, for other people, it might be not about study. It could be that, um, you know, you're looking at a holiday near water. So I do feel like maybe a cruise or there's going to be a lot of water around you where you want to go on holiday as well. And then when I look at your health, Pisarians, for some of it, I just feel like you need a clear perspective. So whether or not you need your eyes checked, um, you just need clear vision of where you're going as well. That could be coming in up for you. And 
don't let things pass you by. So, you know, if you are looking at maybe changing your diet or um, going to the gym, getting that membership, don't let it pass you by. So don't sit there and think, oh, I should do that. It's more about getting off that benchmark and maybe actually doing it for this month before the cold months happen. So it's good to start getting in that routine right now. So I'll leave it there for you, Pythagoreans. Thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, and I'll see you for next month in March.